So I did something you're not supposed to do in a bookstore. I judged a book by its cover. But look at that cover. The coloring, the different fonts, everything's just working for me. And combining that with what I read on the back, I thought this would be a good book not only to read, but would make for a great animated review. My only question was, could my software capture the story? Now, in real life, in 1665 England, uh, there was the bubonic plague yet again, and it had managed to reach a small mining town named Eam. And in the face of death, they resolved to shut themselves off for one reason, you know, not to carry the plague anywhere else. Year of Wonders is a fictionalized account of that resolution, depicting the depravity people demonstrate, as well as the heroes who are made in adversity by stepping up. This story is told from the rector's handmaiden, Anna, who's already experienced great loss, but because of her job, she sort of rises above her station to care for the dying and the living, even while her faith through it all wavers. She's different from other villagers. She learns, um, even when other people think it's futile, she loves when other people think it's futile, and throughout the book, we see where those qualities help and hurt her. There are so many things to like about Year of Wonders. Geraldine Brooks does a great job of selling you that desperation that comes from people who are out for themselves to stay alive. Because everybody in the beginning was in agreement about the isolation. But when the plague bears down and the death toll rises, that we turns to me real quick and chaos ensues. And it's all well done. Also well done is the vernacular, or the way people speak. This book is not even 20 years old, and I had to keep checking for when it was published because it reads so freaking old. But that gives credence to the belief that this is someone from the 17th century telling you the story of England, and it sets the picture of the village even better. My favorite part of the story is the attention, though. The story is told in three parts. The first 20 pages or so, we get a look at Eam post-plague, and the mood is very haunted. Everyone's kind of stoic, and there's talk of people in the past, and you're basically feeling that they're no longer around. The overall tone has this pallor set to it. The second part and the bulk of the novel deals with the before and during the play. It starts off bright and nice. People that were mentioned in the first part are alive and well, setting up the reality that these characters might not last long in the book. And knowing that gives us such a great build-up. The third part of Year of Wonders is where I have my gripes. It takes place immediately after the first part of the book, and it goes on such a ride. But that's not my problem. I like the ending. I didn't like how it was carried out. The beginning of the third part, there's a story of the plague's aftermath. In the last few pages of the story, it tells you more or less what happens rather than giving you a story of how it ends. And that was my issue. Overall, it was really well done. I read this during cold and flu season, so yeah, I got a little paranoid every time somebody loved, coughed, and sniffed. So don't be paranoid like me. If you're the one who's coughing and sniffing, feel better. And hey, I got a book you can check out. So if you like this review, like, comment, subscribe. Bye guys.